It's Adrian Valiente reporting for ESCplus.com live from Tallinn, Saku Surhal in Estelal 2019. And I have here next to me the first contestant who is going to perform in the final tomorrow, uh, Sisi with the song Strong. How are you, Sisi? Hi. I'm doing great, really. How do you feel like you just have performed your song on, on stage? You just have done like your first open rehearsal for the press. How did so it feel? Cool. No, it's really, it's, it feels amazing. It feels great to actually have gotten here and gotten so far. So I'm already proud of myself and the entire team of what we've already achieved. I saw the semifinals on, on the live broadcast uh, back in, in the days and uh, the, the performance was like kind of astounding and uplifting and it was not a surprise that you made it through actually. But Thank what you. did you think? It was the thing that made you go through among all the people in, like uh, the people who vote for you. What, what was I the think maybe the sense of community on stage that it's not only me there that's doing the show, but it's the dancers, it's the back of dancers, it's like, oh, it's it's the therapy, we have a say in Estonia, so the whole... Public? No, the whole people on stage, and of course the public oh, too. Oh, okay. So, um, the arena here is much bigger than in Tartu, I know, but uh, that means that you would get more... Um, more energy. From the, from the audience as well. How do you approach this thing on stage? What does it help, How in, in which range does this help in, in well, for you to perform? I always love interacting with the people so already uh, like before like off stage I often I go on stage and then I scream to the people that will you dance for me and will you be there for me and just getting that feedback from them gives me like this huge energy boost to go and perform. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you more about your personal and, and background and, uh, and professional career that you have here in Estonia mm -hmm. and also about the, your song. Let's begin first with uh, who is Sissy, why are you here and what is your like career up to the up to date actually well, I am an artist so I of course I sing I've been singing for 17 years now soon to be 18 years and it's my entire life ever since I was small I would sing everywhere even still now I'm walking on the street and I look at front and I look behind me to make sure I'm alone and I start singing on the street mm -hmm. I also am an artist I paint I draw I design tattoos I deal with the s s symbols and I love reading and writing post music and just short stories so just like an artist in the sense of the word and I'm here because of my family I guess I have the most su supportive family that you can ever imagine from my mom to my dad to my sister my grand grandmother who lives with us who made the costumes on stage the white the suits that the dancers are wearing she made them okay so just having them behind me is how I even made it here so it's all that we saw today in the first rehearsal that the dress that you're going to be like taking into the stage is it going to be the final one? No, uh the our outfits are exactly the same as they were in the sem semifinal in Tartu. Yeah. Okay. Today we just I didn't want to ruin the outfits so okay. I just didn't dare to put them on today. Great. Okay. How did you combine uh, singing and and your personal and 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 like life in, in here in Estonia because I I guess it's kind of a you know basic things and you have to attend like your studies or things how did you combine that at, at a very early age well uh actually from early age i would i, I used to sing in mero music i still sing there so we had like smaller performances that wouldn't r like ruin anything for school so when this idol series came and i took part of it i actually was in my last so senior year i guess you can call it and i had no more classes anymore okay i just had my exams which i luckily for me i did them greatly so I don't think music has ever actually stood in the way of my studies and now once I think I see and everything has calmed down the next year I'm gonna go s learn inner decorating mm -hmm. so I just want to keep studying and I, I don't believe that singing has to get in the way of that okay so uh, uh, we saw that in the semi-finals that your family is really supportive as you have to just told me actually um, I know that your father won the Eurovision Song Contest, Dave Benton for Estonia with yeah. the song Everybody. Uh, what did he tell you about this and how is he feeling like towards you in this experience throughout the whole thing? When he found out that I'm in, we weren't together, I was backstage at the performance, he was home. I understood that he looked at my mom and went like, here we go again. Like it's and Then it starts again, So, but he's been a huge mentor on how to deal with the media yep, yep. and how to deal with the audience without giving yourself away, if you know what I mean. Yep, sometimes yep. it can like it can empty you out so he's helping me navigate this entire world and and how did you decide to to participate to submit a song to Estonian television I wasn't planning on doing okay. it because after the Estonian idols I felt like I need to like rest because this was such a big roller coaster and it skyrocketed my career yeah and but then Karlander who's the producer of the song sent me like the backing the phonogram for it and I just like, I got an idea, and then the idea turned into a song, and then the song was sent into Esti Laul. 
and then I woke up one morning and I realized, what have I done? I'm here. There is no going back now. Okay, now, now that you have been taking part in all the still owl bubble, how do you see like people from Europe will get or get every year this contest in Estonia because it's such a big thing for us here. Like for international people, it's such yeah. a big thing for us. And some countries like mine, we don't have this this kind of show in a big arena and this and uh, like all with us of this production and everything. How do you see people react to a still owl outside? Uh, uh, if you have read some international like uh, I've fan comments, I've read very few of them. I I tend not to read the comments okay, because. Okay. I feel like I want to do it for me, not you know for others. But I think they react positively mostly because uh, when they see that we take this seriously, and that we really do want to give the best. Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, the song is called "A Strong." It has a positive message. It is an uplifting message for encouraging message for all the people. I What hope do so. You, how do you <laughs> personally take it? For me, it's a song about overcoming difficulties when you're at this moment in your life where everyone has been. I believe you have been there too, where you feel that. It can't get worse than this. It's hard. You feel like you you can't get over this, but the message is that somewhere inside of you, that strength exists. That just like everyone else in the world, who has done great things, you can do those mm -hmm. things too, and okay. you can do anything. That sounds um, really strong <laughs> <laughs> itself, actually, <laughs> and really encouraging. Uh, as I told you, like um, I really wish you the best of luck for the final. But Thank first you. of all, I need you to, I need you to tell me what would it mean to you to go to the Eurovision Song Contest. I, it's been my dream since I was a little girl, so it would be a huge self-fulfillment for me. And, I mean, just to share something like that with my dad, the thought... I, my brain goes blank when I think about it, because it's so much that it would mean to me that I don't know how to put it into words. Maybe your father told you before, or but have you met any other Estonian Eurovision singers uh, beforehand? Or do you know what, it's, what it could be like to be there? That they, they I have spoken you? to a few of them. And uh, they all say the same thing. Say it's super tiring, of course, you know, but it's so amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the stage, the people, the whole energy is supposed to be just amazing. Mm -hmm. Do you have any kind of um, favorite Estonian Eurovision song or uh, everybody? I have okay, to sure. But uh, I haven't. Uh, what have been my favorites? I remember liking Elina Born and Sigrasta. Yep. I really like them. Good one. And Sandra Nurem Salurandayat. Yeah, yeah, really good songs. Those really. are the ones that pop into my mind right away. Yeah. that have gone there. Yeah, really good songs. Okay, so see, it was really nice chatting to you Thank for you. today. I really wish you the best of luck for the final, for the rehearsals. I'll hope to meet you here again. And as we said in the press conference, if it doesn't go further this time, we next hope to time. see you again next <laughs> time in Estonian, in English, or any other language. I don't know. Thank you very much Thank for so much. talking to us. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Hey, SC Plus people, I just hope that you're going to have a great year this year. You're all going to stay healthy and happy and that you enjoy your Eurovision this year, whoever goes f from us here.